It's high, but I'm feeling it. Body whipping her twat, like. So you know this is from Amazon. Oh, bless his name. And when I'm ready to record, I bring her right in front of me. <laughs> my Sephora. Play by play. My Jean, my, oh God, I'm messy. I can't, I can't say it. Oh my God, look at it. This doesn't compare. Y'all be having fleas, y'all cats. What up, it's saying good morning. It's Minna Dubiai. Welcome to another week of vlogging, obviously. Love that for me, love that for you. This morning I'm doing my skincare routine. I've already gotten myself up into this step and now we are going to do eye cream. Thank you to Josie Marin for sponsoring this portion of this video. I have been in love with their whipped argan oil body butter, but today we're talking about a new product, which is the Argan Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate. First of all, if the product isn't the cutest, then I don't know what is, okay? It is a very rich formula, so buttery, obviously been using it. Now you know skincare is important to me. Even when you're doing your makeup, the level of care that you give to your skin shows through your makeup. And that is the same for eye cream. If you're putting on concealer around your eyes, you wanna make sure that your eyes are well hydrated, that they're smooth. If you have any crow's feet or any dryness, dry patches. I've heard of that too. I've gotten questions about, you know, some of you having dry patches under your eyes. You wanna make sure that you're using an eye cream. So I love to put my eye cream around the orbital bone of the eye, okay? So starting right in this outside area and really and truly, you want to be gentle with the skin around your eyes because it is the thinnest skin on your face okay so really you want to go with some patting motions as you can see I'm using my ring finger because it's gonna give the least amount of pressure on my eye and I'm just patting it all in I used to feel like I had to rub it into my skin but you just pat it in and really just leave it in place and it will do the work for you it's gentle and kind to the delicate around the eye areas you know this is again like I said very very delicate area it nourishes with one of the nature's richest sources of essential fatty acids acids. You want to have those fatty acids on your face and in your skincare. So what better way to do that than to be using an eye product that has those in it. See how it gently glides onto the eye area? Like take a look. You don't want anything that's going to require too much rubbing on your eyes. So you know around here we do not play when it comes to our skin, right? You know this, okay? In the description box I have the link to this product for you so you can check it out. Everyone needs eye cream and you are everyone. <laughs> show you first is this ponytail i don't know is it i'll i'll link oops excuse me wow not now i'm gonna link the details for you below this is so cute i saw another influencer post about it and literally i just went on amazon she didn't have a link that i saw i went on amazon and i i purchased it i'm, I'm gonna put her on this week and i'm gonna show y'all so y'all are gonna see and then this just came into about two of these these marble trays so that's how it looks there really cute good material really affordable as well i'm gonna put one in my bedroom and then i don't know I'll find somewhere else. I came to get coffee. Good morning. I came to get coffee with my girlfriend. And I'm waiting on her. Oops. Okay, yeah. I want this to be up. Got my headband wig on and my headband. I'm waiting on Carmen to come. And her birthday was months ago. First of all, I've never met her in person. I met her online. Isn't that fun? Instagram friends. Met her online. Her birthday was months ago we never actually got to meet and for that reason we're here now obviously just to chat get coffee whatever yes hi i'm right here can you hear me okay awesome hi there thanks for being oh thank you <laughs> thanks for being here and thank you for taking my question i wonder if you can share if you had any fears or limitations about starting your brand and how you overcame them Well, that's awesome and it makes a lot of sense too and it sounds like you had the perseverance to push through despite all of that so that's definitely encouraging awesome well thank you so much for taking my question we need to open your gifts what are we here for oh my God. 
I don't forgot. <laughs> We've been chatting for three hours. We have been chatting. Wait, what time did we get oh, here? 10, 11, 12. Woo! I'm so hot. This Hey, Juan and Fremen. Hello. Hello. Hey, hello. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> I'm going to spray my armpit. It's a little bit sweaty. Uh, uh, I thought y'all was just showing me your picture. All right, so Rare Beauty sent me a package, which I'm very grateful for. In it was this poor diffusing primer. I wanted to give it a shot, but I have to remind myself, we are now in summertime. I need to be wearing primers that are mattifying because you know, I don't like to be dewy. So something like this is gonna maybe diffuse the pores possibly, but that's not what I want. I want to be matte and dry. So since this is not going to give that to me, I'm gonna add it to my giveaway pile, which is in the third drawer from the top, which is, nope, fourth drawer from the top, which is right there. I'm gonna add that to it, but, oh! They did send this eyeshadow palette, which looks really cute. I wish the brown that's right next to the middle circle glitter was more warm. It looks cool, but it's fine. I'm gonna definitely try this out. Maybe I'm gonna put this, not maybe, I'm gonna put this into my everyday makeup kit right now so that I can make sure I use it in the next video, in my next video. And remember this bag, it's just the cutest. I'm gonna give this to my little niece. She's six, but it's just cute. If I was 10, I would totally wear this bag. It's cute, it's a little teddy bear. All right, so let me come in this closet and take i just have too many things in here it's like ridiculous all of my hair is hung up you already know how that goes with my hair and then i just have extra stuff up here i just i can't explain any of it okay just a lot of things now this is my makeup case i do need to replace some things inside of it so i can continue to use more things i just have to do this intentionally i'm gonna make it a weekly thing because otherwise i won't actually get around to trying out new makeup if it's not in here I'm not gonna use it. So you know, this is from Amazon. Got my brushes and my pencils and things up top there. Man, I have been loving this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This joint is off the chizzy chain. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is so good. I did a video that ended up being a makeup fails video. It's already edited. I just need to edit the caption and upload it for you. Man, maybe you won't have seen it by the time you see this this vlog. <sighs> it was bad. Okay, so there's that. Where we at? Okay, I've used this several times. I like it. I'm gonna take it out so I can put something new in here. This I, I use because of the black to do my under, under eye. I need to use this again. I used it. I used this in an IGTV video but I need to use it in a YouTube video. So perhaps I'll leave it here. Maybe I'll use the yellow. I did a yellow YouTube look one time a while ago and I hated how it came out. It just was not good. The pigment wasn't good. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll try this green pukey type color. It's pukey looking, but it might actually be cute depending on how I layer it. All right, I'll leave this here and I'm gonna add Rare Beauty and Sigma. I mean, excuse me, Too Faced to the, to the situation. <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff in here. I like this because it's so big. It fits so many things. Like what? All right, and then I have all these Maybelline lippies. I need to use more lip colors, but I want to like make my way through these Maybelline lippies. They're just so cute. I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. And then I used this yesterday. I don't know if it's dewy or matte. I was dewy, but I did not use a matte primer. So I'm going to use it again and see what this is talking about. But yeah, it sprayed out pretty like aggressively. Like it wasn't a soft mist like, like the Morphe one. I mean, it was like boom on my face. I had to hold my hand far, far away. <laughs> to use this it was one of those things you know have not used thick mint yet i know it's here i need to use it i'm gonna use it today i mean i'm gonna use it this week in a video for sheezy cool so there's that and one of these days honestly i'm gonna go through my makeup stash and clean some things out but this is my nude ish type drawer where neutral not nude not neutral i don't know it's not the bright colors. It's not the palettes that have extremely bright colors in it. That's where I keep those. These are palettes that gotta go. And then these are the palettes that are really bright, vibrant type colors. I don't even go in here much anymore. This is really full. I usually, I don't keep a lot of stuff, but anyway, yeah, one of these days I'll go through all of these with y'all. This is all stuff that I need to use. And this is all stuff that is mine, used, wanting to keep, but eventually I need to clear this out. You hold my every moment. You calm my raging sea. You walk with me through 
fire You heal all my disease I trust in you Oh, I trust in you I believe you're my healer Oh, I believe you kitchen and I have the Amazon Alexa here if you've been around you know that we have three Alexas in the house and I was listening to a song it just touched my soul it just touched my soul I just washed my hair I have my leave-in conditioner in and my curls are just curling and we just hear I love the acoustics in the kitchen slash living room because it's wide open so sounds bounce off and it just it just fills my soul it fills my soul so we worshiped a little bit together hallelujah hallelujah for the lord god almighty reigns hallelujah Bless his name, gosh. You know what song I love too, Jaira? I don't know all the words very well, but it blesses my soul. <laughs> oh, you know what song is just an all time, an all time flat line song for me? You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our then I would say you're going to be more golden. And if you're in between, go with the neutral. neutral. And I always find that neutral is, is the safer. If you if you kind of straddle the fence, yeah, very, very close, you can't really tell. It, neutral is your safest option to go with. Yeah, 100%. And yes, yes. I love this so much. Um, okay. Do you want to talk about the formulation? Yes, yes. Beautiful. Totally. So this is your skin, but better. So this is a serum foundation. It's going to be extremely lightweight. It, it is buildable, but it's light to medium coverage. So if you like a full coverage foundation, this is probably not your foundation, but it definitely is buildable to a full medium, like a medium coverage, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's very, very easily blendable, um, very lightweight. It, it's almost, it has a dew, but not too crazy. Yeah, it's not just at all. that perfectly natural flush and glow to the skin.
All right. I'm about to go inside now to get my... Oh, I didn't even tell you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. What up? It's Wednesday. I'm going to get my COVID vaccine today. I'm not getting a Johnson & Johnson, so don't lose your britches. Do you... That's my first... That's my second time using the word britches. <laughs> britches. Don't lose your... Oh, it's foggy out here. It's musty. It's... Dr... Uh, what you call it? And it's raining. Lord, I hope it ain't raining when I come back. Okay. I got to put my camera away, but... Okay, thank you. Have you ever received this vaccine before? No. Okay. Have you ever tested positive for COVID? No. Have you had any dental uh, fillers or Botox injections? Like in my life? No. Or recently? recently? No, no, no. Okay. Have you had any other vaccine in the past 14 days? No. Uh, are you feeling sick today? No. Anything else that you're, you're allergic to? Correct? No. Okay. So you're getting the visor, which is a two dose injection, okay? Okay. You're getting the first one today. Okay. And then you get the second one on the fifth. fifth. Okay. When you come back, make sure you bring this card. Okay. After I give you your injection, they're going to monitor you back there for 15 minutes. Okay. You should not experience none of these symptoms. So that's an allergic reaction. Oh, okay. You should not. Okay. If you do, please let the nurses know, okay? Okay. These symptoms right here are to be expected. Okay. Maybe the next couple days. Okay. You can take Tylenol or ibuprofen. Okay. Those are my hair from CDC. Okay. You don't have to participate in it, but if you want to, you can. Just scan the barcode. They want to know if you had any reactions and how do you feel uh, after the vaccine. Oh, okay. And then this is yours to keep. Okay. All right. And I'm just marking my spot, okay? Some people say it's painful. Ugh. <laughs> was it painful for you? <laughs> I guess the question is what your tolerance is. I've had a C-section. That was painful. So, okay. yeah. I mean... Yeah, I don't think nothing's worse than that. Yeah, nothing's worse than that. I've had two C-sections and a knee surgery. Oh my! Oh, my mom has had both of her knees done. Really? But yeah. you know, she's older. She didn't. She didn't move. She didn't exercise, and so her knees are actually like pretty stiff. Really? Yeah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. All right. All right. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> you did it fast. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that is done here we go my contact is bothering me so badly god i ordered new ones from target optical cannot wait for them to come in i'm just so fed up with these jesus they're old uh long story so yeah that was really quick i had a black lady black nurse who injected me and it wasn't as painful as i expected it to be i had watched someone's video yesterday and the way she moved i was like oh my god is gonna be is this gonna hurt me no everyone's pain tolerance is different it really wasn't horrific it was quick too very very fast my appointment is in three weeks for the second shot again i got the pfizer one and right now i feel fine we're vlogging right so we're gonna see if something changes and we you know y'all gonna see what it is but i didn't have any concerns about it whatsoever even right now i have no concerns about it whatsoever i grew up going to the doctor's office for any and everything my mom did not skirt around that as an immigrant to the U.S. And growing up very poor, if we have health care, we're going to the doctor. End of story. So I've taken that on and I, I believe in that wholeheartedly. I have no worries about this at all. So yeah, I am going to, I don't eat breakfast, but I am going to because I just got an injection just to make sure that whatever, you know, help me not have as bad of symptoms as I can. But that's it. I'm about to go home. Maybe I'll stop by Starbucks. We gonna see. Hello, good morning. Coming to you with a new ponytail. <laughs> if you've seen the video on IGTV, then you know. If you don't already know, then you are missing out. This is the ponytail right here. Shout out to the ponytail, okay? I'm really feeling it. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. It's very high up. You know, it's giving extremely high up. It's giving obnoxiously high up, but it's giving... I don't care and I love it. <laughs> I'm about to film. So I got my situation going. You know how that goes. I have my big camera, my big mirror, but I have this here in front of me it's just to give me close up situations and it just works out. Oh, let me tell you something right now. If you have a Canon G7X and you're vlogging, you can only put the microphone jack into the Canon G7X Mark III. I used to have the regular one, not the Mark I or two. I had the regular. You cannot put a microphone into it. And I believe you can't put it into any of them unless it is the Mark III. So it's the newest one and it shoots in 4K. So you want to shoot in 4K, baby, okay? And this is the Movo mic. I talked about it in my last vlog. I'll link it again here for you. And just for your reference, this is the tripod that I bought a minute ago. You can put your phone into it. And what I love, ooh, this is hard to do. 
you know, you can, let me do it right here. You can stand it up, nicey, nicey. Ooh, you can't see it. Anyway, link is below. I'll link the tripod as well. What I wanted to show you is that this is one, I remember I said I had two road video lines, okay? So this is one of them. I hooked it onto this extendable, retractable. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but it's the thing that the podcast folks be using. I love it, okay? Because when I'm done recording, I just collapse her back. And when I'm ready to record, I bring her right in front of me, really right here, because you can't even see it on the camera. Hello, praise his name. I used to have my audio above me. If you see my studio tour video, you'll know that my boom pole was right here. And then I had my audio above me. Wasn't the worst thing in the world. It worked for a very long time, but I was... I like to always upgrade. I'm always thinking of how to do things differently, how to do things better. And I was like, wait a minute, what if I put a microphone in front of me like podcasters do, that might work better. And I love my audio better this way because the mic is right in front of my mouth. I like it better and it gives you what you call it, ASMR, when I'm opening things up, like you can, if I'm really close to the mic like this, you can hear it, I like it. I really enjoy having this like this. So really and truly any mic can be attached to this and then you have it and you can expand it frontward and backwards. So if you're a creator or you want to be a creator, here you go. Now the aluminum, not if I said aluminum, the aluminum phone. The way, the reason why it's here is because this Rode Video Mic Go that doesn't require a battery, I don't know, it's irritating me. And sometimes I get feedback from my phone being next to it in order to, with this particular mic, I haven't been having that much of a problem with it. I had it mainly with the mic I had on my vlogging camera and that's why I got rid of it and got this mic. The Movo is fantastic. This one is not giving me a problem, so I haven't changed it, although I was tempted to. It's fine. I think this is the newest one. I have two, I can't tell us what. I believe this is the newest one, but in order not to record a video and have an issue with it afterward, I just say, you know what, let me put my, my full here just in case because the audio issue, issue bothers me. I like to create quality content. I like for their not be any issues so I have it here just just in case I don't want any interference problems to happen and this is the tripod that I use to put my phone on when I'm creating stories and hyperkeratosis you are producing way too many skin cells meaning you need to exfoliate more than the average skin type right um you have thicker stickier sebum so you're your oil is actually thicker and stickier so it sticks within your follicles more and it creates that congestion and you have more of that p acne bacteria present and we have to figure out how to balance that out versus a congested skin you might have combination skin you might even have you know that dehydrated skin but what's happening is you start to see that undersurface congestion um, you might feel little bumps but you don't necessarily have a lot of breakouts of pustules and you know cysts in the skin. So what this might look like is what I mentioned is comedones. These are the undersurface congestion. So you can see there's no redness, there's no inflammation or infection present, but you can see these are your blackheads and your whiteheads. These are the ones that you feel it in lots of texture. It looks like little bumps on the skin. And this is your skin, we need to exfoliate it more and we need to cleanse it better. We need to make sure we're removing all of the oils and all of those dead skin cells that are building up causing those little breakups or those little comedones. Well, it's broken into multiple follicle walls. So now you have more of a larger cyst present and the body is What up? Okay, I just left lunch with my girlfriend. <laughs> Do you see my ponytail? I'm actually loving her. She's looking very... I don't know, like casting call, like I'm I'm auditioning for a role in a play. <laughs> ah, I do think that she's a little high, you know? She could use a little bit of lowering, <laughs> but what's she gonna do? She gonna, she gonna deal, you know what I'm saying? She gonna deal. Whew, that was so good. We just ate at local table, so yummy. I had a salad with shrimp and the dressing was phenomenal. I am stuck. I want to go to sleep, but it is Thursday, praise his name. I also need to update you that I am back scheduled at church. So if you don't know, I serve in my church on the worship team. It's been a year since I've been because of COVID and I'm scheduled back again this Sunday and I'm very excited. It's gonna be so strange because it's been so long. I've been out of the loop. I'm like, Lord, don't let me miss my alarm. I need to be on time. I need to know my lyrics, okay? And I gotta have energy, obviously, right? So. I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait.
I do need to make sure obviously that I finish the vlog and edit it before Sunday because it's, it's a long day. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, but I look forward to it. It's gonna be really exciting. So that is that. It'll, it'll be it'll be our first time back to church in a year, over a year actually, because now we're in April. So over a year. So over a year, which is like, whoa, right? Yeah, so that's that. I'm about to go pick me up right now it is really hard being a mom when it's like i'm tired i just want to go home and sleep but obviously your child needs to be entertained deserves to be entertained deserves to have a life and all of the things but you're like i'm wicked tired right now i just want to go home and go to sleep and it's just not fair so i always wrestle with that like hi hello how goes it? Yo, so I'm sitting in front of my vanity, my new vanity mirror in my, my studio. These are clothes that I need to still wear and style on photo shoots. There's no rhyme or reason to the clothes. We're not looking at aesthetics over there, okay? Yo, so I'm sitting here in front of my new vanity situation. I love this, look, off obviously, and like really, really bright. All right, my Sephora packages came in. I bought two of these on two different days, just whatever, right? And they say priority two day on them. One of them did come two day, one of them did not. Depend on what's inside of it, Flash isn't actually two day shipping. So if there's an aerosol, it won't actually be two day shipping, whatever. And this look, if you're wondering, is in a YouTube video, so it'll be out at some point. I am really feeling this ponytail. It's obnoxious, it's high, but I'm feeling it. It's obnoxious, I understand that. But there's something about it that's just really jiving with me. If you got a special occasion to go to, if you're gonna be in a wedding, if you're going to attend a wedding, I feel like this is very appropriate. <laughs> but I wore it on a Thursday to lunch. <laughs> I was filming and I wanted to try it. Whatever. All right, got our usual. <gasps> this is the one. Okay, so here we have the Sephora translucent powder. Obviously have not used this. Going to, I should sit here and do my makeup. This would be really cute. I'm sitting on that ottoman that you normally see. The container reminds me of the Maybelline one. Looking forward to using this. So cheesy. Let's just touch it and feel it okay it does feel good you know there's a different feeling for different powders for sure all right i look forward to using this one you know i also oh this is so small <laughs> i got the sephora collection blush Ooh yes this looks like it'd be a great topper remember i said that this is not going to go all over my cheek but it's going to be used as a topper love that love how the outside gives you a really big illustration of what the color would look like. This is obviously darker than the inside, but whatever, it's all right. It's called Hot Flush. Looking forward to using that. Faux cheesy. Faux she's naive. <laughs> all right, Ooh, got my flaw again. Ow, my other one is almost done. So she definitely gonna come into rotation very soon. So she gonna be waiting in the wings. Rare Beauty Illuminizer in the color flaunt. This is just perfect. Ugh. This is nice and full, brand new. Love it, my other one is almost done. So this is my first purchase, this. So these four items and then Killian Princess. This thing better be good. She better be good. Y'all out here got me buying Killian, okay? I never even, like, I don't even understand what this is about. I just, ooh, ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. I do like the scent of marshmallow. Ooh, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Okay, oh, please let me like this. So where's the fragrance? The fragrance is on top. Look at this bottle. Wow, it's very, almost like Disney. <laughs> you know, what's that What's that park at Disney? There's one theme park that has a big old globe. How do I, op do I, do I put it this way? How do I open this? I've never seen anyone open it. What? How do I open this? <gasps> Oh, that scared me. I didn't know why it doesn't like spill everywhere. I didn't want to spill it. This stuff is expensive. Huh, okay. This is, does Gucci Perfect have marshmallow in it? Okay, gotta get something paper. Let's get this. Get something paper to spray it on, okay. Ooh, that came out like a lot. This smells a little bit like Gucci Perfect. Let me look it up right now. Oh my God. Hey Siri. What are the notes in Gucci Perfect Perfume? Sorry, there was a problem with the app. I'm in it, I'm in German. drink. It's amazing, it smells great. So Gucci Perfect has in it daffodil, almond milk, almond milk, ugh, cashmere. 
And this one has green tea mocha ginger. Yo, this is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting this at all. I don't know why I was expecting something so, something more pungent, you know, like my, 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 uh, what, my Jean, my Jean Margel, oh my Lord. My Jean, my, oh God of mercy. I can't, I can't say it. The replica, whatever. Okay. Replica jazz, is it jazz place? There's so many names, God of mercy. Jazz place, jazz club, jazz club. I almost, I was mixing up fireplace and jazz club, whatever. Replica jazz club to me is like, boom, wow, what is this? This is very, very unique, right? Just going by the bottle, I literally assumed that this was going to be something very, whoa, wow, like stopping your tracks kind of thing. This is very pleasant. The bottle just threw me off. Let me get it. All right, on a paper, again, here's Gucci Perfect. That one's sprayed more of a mist. Oh no, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a difference. Ah, oh, there's a difference. There's something that this reminds me of though. Yeah, Gucci Perfect is, there's something floral to it. Oh my God, look at it, this doesn't compare. It doesn't compare, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I Let me spray this again. I have something that smells just, dang, this sprays out very, very hard. It's not, it's very hard when it sprays out. The Killian princess it's not the joe malone vitiver and oud or is it maybe the vitiver and oud has something that this also has in it there's something that's layering maybe something no i don't remember marshmallow being in any of my other scents i don't know okay well i can't figure it out it smells very common to me i'm gonna keep it it's a cute bottle if nothing else it's a cute bottle i like it i'm not saying that i don't like it it just smells like something i have and i can't point I can't pinpoint what it is. And then I made a second order because <laughs> I was like, uh, hold on, let me get, let me read up on some of my face and also like see what else is going on. Oh, yes. Okay. So, you know, I love the Laneige. Is it Laneige? Bless my heart. Mm -mm. I don't know how you say it. You know, I love the Laneige lip sleeping masks. I have tried or bought all the colors. I didn't know what colors to get or flavors, scents, what? I don't know. So I got the green one. This is the apple, is it green apple? This is the green apple one. It smells really good too. Oop, no, hold on a minute. <gasps> I have one in Nini's room because I can't stand dry lips and ain't no baby gonna walk around here with dry lips. I don't do that. So he has one in his room. <laughs> he been leaving the cap off. I mean like, do you know how much that costs? That costs $24. Like what? Slow down. And then I have the, the gummy bear one. I just like it because it's purple, honey. They're all amazing. They all smell really good. They're all very occlusive. Occlusive meaning very thick. You can shower, wash your face. If you're like me, you depend on what happening. what's happening. You wash your face and you wash it like this. So let's say you have no makeup on, you wash your face in the shower and you don't necessarily scrub your lips. You just wash your face and do that as you're washing. This will stay on. Even if water gets on your lips, it will still be on, I guarantee you. it's occlu That's what occlusive means. It's not water soluble. It's not gonna melt off in the water at all. It's, it's oh, this one smells really good. It's really fantastic. Obviously great for overnight, but I wear these during the daytime because they're just amazing. And then I actually filmed today and one size had sent me their versatile powder foundation, right? But they had sent me dark G, which was dark golden. When I looked at it, I was like, that's not my color, it's too light. So I was gonna give it away. And then I went online and when I made the second order, I purchased the color Deep 5N. Well, today while I was filming, I get a package from one size. I don't know if they knew it, like I didn't even email them nothing. It came in and they sent me Dark 5N. Well, honey, that thing is neutral, like neutral, like ain't gonna work on my skin neutral. So I wish they had a deep golden. Would there be a deep golden? I can look right now because it's buttery. It's buttery. But then again, if I get the deep golden, it'll end up being a contour for me because then what ended up happening was I was like, you know what? Let me just, is my lip looking crazy? I was like, you know what? Let me just give this a try. Maybe the dark or G golden would work for me. I was like, I don't know. So what I did, you know, when I do my face, I put my powder really in the middle of my face, not on the outer side. That's where the contour goes. You get it, right? So I did that and I just put it in the middle, like ish. You'll see in the video when I record the one, edit the one I recorded today. I was like, wait, it actually works. Granted, when I put on a, a powder over my face, after I have foundation on, I'm just bringing everything in, evening everything out, making sure that everything looks great. So it's not going everywhere. So dark for 
G for golden actually ended up working for me. It's not an all over the face powder. It's not gonna go on the perimeter of my face. It only stayed in the middle. If you know, you know. So it actually worked out. So I am gonna have to go back to Sephora and return this one or just exchange it against something else because I already have it. I wouldn't have bought the one that I bought. So yeah, grateful for that. Thank you one size. And I'm gonna return this. My eczema is breaking out. You don't see anything but I'm so itchy. Like it looks like I have mosquito bites, but it's not. It's literally my eczema just tear me up, Jesus. And then I be getting the hyperpigmentation as a result. It ends up looking like hickeys or something. It's literally just dry skin. You know, I stopped putting my, I stopped, I know you're probably yelling at me to stop, but it itches, I'm gonna scratch, okay? I have eczema, this is what we do. <laughs> I stopped putting my skincare on my neck and my chest. My neck sometimes on my chest I stop because it, it flares up sometimes but I do hydrate my chest really well if you've been around for a while you know I used to have a lot of rashes and dark spots here it's lightened up I've been taking a lot of, I've been taking great care of it but I do get flare-ups that's just the nature of eczema and right now I have a flare-up and it's making me sick okay moving on all right now I do have boxes to unpack unbox but I ain't doing that. Oh, I feel like I have fleas. Y'all be having fleas? Y'all have cats? You know, your cat gets fleas. And then they, I remember I used to work with this <laughs> quick story. I used to work retail, obviously. I, I, I had 20 jobs before I had my first full-time job out of grad school. I worked a lot of places, okay? And I just liked to move around. And I remember I worked at Art and B. Remember Art and B? Do they still have that? At the outlet. And I had this coworker and she had a cat, okay? So one day she started working. She had all these red bites on her. And I remember I was like, yo, what happened to you? And she was like, oh, my cat has fleas. I was like, so what does that mean for you? <laughs> she talking about, oh, that, so they bit me or something like that. I'm like, ew, if your animal has fleas, the fleas jump on you. Bless his name. I can't do it. Uh-uh. I used to have a cat. Her name was, oh, excuse me, not a cat. Mm -mm. I used to have a dog. Her name was Koi. Mm. I used to wipe her. Oh, Lord. No, man. Koi. Oh, God. God knew I wanted to be a mom. I used to treat that dog like a person. It was something else. I, I, uh, mm. I mean, how? Uh-uh. I was even wiping Koi every time. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, I was wiping her, wiping her feet, wiping her hands, wiping her body, wiping her twat, like... <laughs> Yo, I was like, you ain't gonna put your outside body on my rug. When you come in this house, you are getting wiped every time. Oh my gosh, it was a thing. Uh -uh. I used to open her mouth and brush her teeth. It was something. I used to cut her hair. I used to bathe her. Hey, oh God. I, yo. <laughs> oh man, yo. <laughs> hey, I used to be a dog groomer. Can you imagine? Oh, sweet Koi. She was a good girl and she knew tree too. I taught her tree. I trained her myself and I taught her tree. She knew. If I said Koi, it's not still, but it's not to say see ya. I mean, it would shock everybody. It was the funniest thing. You know, dogs will, will learn whatever you teach them. So she learned tree. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Right.